Welcome back. So one of the goals this week is to get the gear brackets sorted out. So first thing to do was to enlarge the holes uh, to half inch for those upper mounting brackets. And that's one of the ones I just did there um, that has the rod through it now. So we can move on to the next step. And we now have a new member on our team. His name is Hans. And as you can see here, he's actually marking out on uh, one of the upper wing plugs, wing skin plugs, um, sort of like a grid system uh, for the fixture that we're going to use to um, construct the wing. And in the meantime, the guys are working on um, these winglets, uh, the inside winglet plugs. And so this one's moving along. And uh, here's the other one, and this one's on the, already on the second round of sanding, so not far away from um, being able to be waxed up and have the mold pulled from that. So both of those are moving along fairly quickly. The next thing for the gear was to create a little fixture and I just decided to use a couple of 2x4s and uh, space these holes per the CAD. And so the one hole is the uh, lower uh, rotational point for the gear leg and the other one is the upper mounting point uh, for the retraction bracket. So just use the machine to drill those so I can get them nice and accurate and they're going to be used to help uh, align those uh, rods um, and also the brackets inside the gear well there. So here's the right side and so there's um, that 2x4 uh, there with a drill bit through it ready to drill that bracket on the left side and we've used Clecos there to hold those uh, other brackets in place and the bottom left bracket isn't in there yet but you see there's a rod down the bottom uh, keeping that aligned so basically everything's aligned up there now we can just drill um, through that, um, that one bracket on the left and then enlarge it using the hole saw. And Roberto and Kristen again today, and so they're helping out their uh, Hans with this uh, fixture. So it's basically going to be a sort of jig framework similar to what we did with the fuselage to help support the wing skin while we bond in all the ribs and the spars and stuff. So, but you'll see more of that um, as we move along. And here's uh, Zach working on uh, this uh, one winglet thing. So this one is uh, ready for the last round of uh, primer, and this is the other one. So this one's already getting waxed now, so that one's almost ready for a mold. It actually has the four coats of wax on already, it just needs the uh, rubber profile on there and ready to pull a mold. And here's that one bracket. So I used that drill bit just to put a little marker there for where the hole saw needed to be cut and then I put it in the drill press and just running it through there, at least getting it most of the way through and then I basically took it out and uh, finished it off with a regular drill by hand. Um, but those uh, came out nicely. It's pretty easy to do it with the drill press though. And there it is back in place and you see the bushing has been put in there and these are spherical bushings so they have a little bit of uh, movement in them and there's the one in the other side. And then the lower bracket's been also um, positioned there and clicoed into place and that has the bushing in there. So basically all those brackets are all sorted out now. Um, we can sort of pull apart the rear pressure bulkhead and then bond all those things uh, into place. And there's the left winglet plug again. That All that needs now is a little bit of sanding underneath on that joggle there. Um, before it gets the second coat of primer and then on to waxing. So Roberto and Chris are now cutting out these different little rib, kind of rib things, basically stand up vertically from that uh, wing skin and allow us to lay um, a fiberglass kind of L shape um, that sort of conforms to the shape of the skin but then conforms to this rib as well and that will create a rigid structure that we can then um, sort of bolt up a, a, a steel frame which is basically going to hold the whole wing skin um, nice and firmly in place while the uh, spar gets laid in and then the ribs get laid in and then ultimately it gets closed out but you'll see more of that as we move uh, further along through the next week or so and here you can see there's a couple of pieces that uh, Roberto and Chris have been cutting that are sort of mocked into place already it's going to take a little while to put these um, fixtures together but they're moving along pretty quickly so far and it's actually good having uh, Hans on board another hand is uh, just speeding things up, which is always uh, a good thing. And uh, I'm already moving on to the left side uh, for the gear brackets there. You can see uh, I've got the rods in there and those holes again, because I did the left side, uh, or sorry, the right side first, and then went over to the left side. And you see we've basically um, got that uh, the aft bulkheads all perfectly lined up there, and they're all clicoed into place now, so they won't move. Or anything so there's the um, same setup on this side with the piece of wood and the brackets and all that sort of stuff so I've got a little bit more to do on that but basically it won't be long we'll be able to bond those uh, brackets to those respective bulkheads there anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and so thanks again for watching